Hello and good day to you. Welcome to the Hello Tom Dyer podcast. I am Tom Dyer and this is a new episode of my podcast. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why you're probably seeing on my social media channels lots of clothing and different things to do with I accept. And as much as I've kind of alluded to it in different posts on my Instagram and with certain stories and with different types of writing such as poetry, um, I've never really identified what I accept is all about. Now, for those of you who do know me, you will know that I work for a cancer charity, Ten of Us Cancer Care, and you'll know that my role in that charity is of Activate Your Life Lead. Now, the fact that that course is called Activate, with A-C-T in capitals, and the apparel that I'm putting out there is I Accept, is no coincidence. So Activate Your Life is a course that stems from acceptance and commitment therapy. And the I Accept is the pivotal part of the acceptance of that course. And why is that so strong and so dear to me? Well, it takes me back 18 months ago where I had a bit of a tumultuous six-month period where nothing was really going right. And relationship broke down. I ended up not having anywhere to live for a couple of weeks. I was faced with job uncertainty. I nearly had to leave where I was due to redundancy or going back to roles. And this all culminated in my car being broken into as well, uh, a couple of days after my mum's birthday, in fact, uh, whilst playing a gig with a band that I'm also no longer in. So there was this period of six months, summer through to through the autumn, where things just weren't going right. And at the time, I thought that I was riding the wave very well. I was still turning up to work. I was still was I in a show at the time? Probably not. But it was just a comedy of errors. And every time I'd go in. Uh, the people that I sat with in work were kind of like, so what's happened now? And without fail, I'd be able to answer that something calamitous had happened. And at the time, I thought that I was doing really well and uh, using acceptance as part of my, my ploy, really, is to keep going on and keep going on. But the issue that I had was that I wasn't necessarily addressing anything because there was so much uncertainty. I didn't know who I was anymore because of how I'd felt following the relationship breakdown. I didn't have anywhere to live and I didn't want to commit to anywhere to live because I didn't think that my job was going to was going to carry on. And I'm originally from uh, two hours away and I thought, should I just jack it all in and should I just head two hours west and just start again from scratch? So I didn't commit to anywhere to live either. Uh, commitment also making up the acceptance and commitment therapy so I wasn't committing anything so I was accepting a lot and I was still getting on with with daily life as best as I could and then my car got broken into and that was the final straw and (laughs) that night I committed to going home and I played the gig and it's probably the best I played uh, on the drums and I got in my car with a missing window and a laptop and a camera and an external hard drive down and I drove two hours in the middle of the night to get home. And I didn't come back to to Cardiff for two months afterwards. The entirety of November I spent away. Uh, I missed friend's wedding, I missed, uh, I missed work, I missed playing in in my bands and everything just felt like it was crumbling, like it was completely tearing apart um, and just falling out around me. So it wasn't exactly the the best time in my life but as the end of November and December came through and I did venture back to Cardiff before Christmas I started to get that strength back and a lot of that strength came from playing football and spending time with, with my family and their friendship circles because I had lost mine essentially. Uh, my own in Cardiff was very linked with the relationship that I was in at the time. And I've found who I was again. Am I there yet? No, I don't think I am yet. But I'm working on it and I'm aware as to what's holding me back. But I'm still not at the stage that I was 
prior to the breakup. So the the first part of that year, I was I was riding high. It was it was good, really good. I was being really creative. I was being very prolific, um, but arguably in the wrong areas. And so I'm still working on myself. But the I accept is that all of those things happen to me, but I'm still here. And I still have those visions and I still have those dreams and I still have those aspirations to do something amazing. And through my change in work and delivering Activate Your Life affected by cancer to people affected by cancer has really given me the zest and this life to want to help more people overcome their shortcomings or their their inherent beliefs of themselves. But you can only do that once you've accepted that they're a core part of you. And I have my flaws. I'm not perfect. I don't want to pretend to be. But I'm more and more accepting of myself every single day. And I have been now for for 18 months. But there's so many people that are fighting with themselves because they believe that they should be someone else. That they've been told that they should be something else and should and should not are are really eating away at us and it's so sad so the i accept and the i accept movement if you will is my way of a rallying cry of i accept who i am i accept the decisions i've made i accept the implications and the ramifications that have come my way that doesn't mean it's easy and it doesn't mean that i've just forgotten about everything else far from it i'm using all of those experiences to hopefully make myself a far better person going forward. I use myself as a sound as a as an example to the people that attend the Activate Your Life course because I've I've been there. I've been on that riding high and I've been down at the crash and I'm slowly chip, uh, building my way up again, chipping away at all these things that I can change. And that's an important part of what I'm trying to say as well is that I accept who I am, but if I want to make little changes, I need need to accept that, that that there is a struggle, that there is something that needs to be overcome to become that person that I want to be. And I remind myself every single day of it. I've now got a new I accept hat. I've got the I accept hoodie, which is on all of my pictures on social media at the minute. And that I accept is a reminder to myself that I am here deliberately and I accept all of those shortcomings and I accept all of my decisions and I accept that if I work hard enough and I commit to certain actions, which is the other part of acceptance and commitment therapy, that I will achieve my goals, my aspirations, whilst not forgetting the people and the skills and the hard work and the patience that comes with that as well. So that's why I have I accept strewn everywhere on my clothing and in my brain is because in order for us to move forward we need to accept who we are otherwise we will just stay where we are fighting against ourselves and that's a lot of energy to be putting in when there's so much more energy to be put out and put it to good measure that's my episode today and I'm glad that I've got it off my chest it was asked of me over the weekend so I wanted to to formally address it I'm hoping to do a bit more of a stylistic video in relation to this as well and actually take you to some of the points where things weren't so rosy, as it were, so where the car was broken into. So that's something which I'll save for, for a later date. But for now, enjoy your wonderful Tuesday, enjoy your wonderful week, accept everything that happens to you and make a commitment to live on your terms. Have a great one. I have been Tom Dyer. This is the Hello Tom Dyer podcast. Take care. Bye-bye.